Hi everyone, welcome back to our Automation and Cloud Apps Security Series. My name is Caroline Lee and I'm joined today by Sebastian Mullendyke and we're going to be focusing on how do we auto remediate infrequent country alerts. So let's take a look at the alert that we see within MCAS today. MCAS captures a bunch of information, the alert, where it was generated, who the user is, the IP address, and the location. We can see that an activity was performed by mod administrator and that there had been no activity performed in the United States within the last 12 days. Some key pieces of information we see here is that this user is actually an admin within O365. We also see the ISP that was used, the OS, and the browser it was generated from. If you're unfamiliar with how these alerts are triggered, MCAS studies user behavior over a course of seven days, and it establishes a baseline. If the user deviates from that learned baseline, we'll see alerts trigger such as these. But what happens when users go on vacation and can't help but check their email, or they travel outside their home base for work? What we can do is send these alerts to Power Automate. You can see that Cloud App Security directly integrates with Power Automate. And on the right, we have a bunch of templates that you can use within the gallery today. The benefits of using Power Automate is that you can create your own custom flows for these types of advanced scenarios, such as generating a ticket within ServiceNow, or maybe requesting user validation for sensitive file sharing. If you wanna see how that's done, go check out our last post. The benefit of using Power Automate is that it connects to over 200 apps, so there's really a ton of possibilities by using Power Automate. So now let's get into a demo. All right, so let's take a look at the flow we've created for this alert. We can see that an alert was generated within MCAS. We're going to grab a couple more details here, such as the user profile, so their name, phone number, country, department, and other details. We're also going to capture the manager information for that user in case we wanna contact them for this compromise. We're also gonna to check to see if the user has an out of office message enabled. Next, we're gonna check the group membership. So we can add the Azure AD object IDs here for each group that the user is a part of. So for example, maybe they're a part of a security admins group. You could add that here. Next, we'll look at the conditions. So if the user out of office message is turned on and the user is not part of the executives group or whichever one you've added, we'll go ahead and resolve that alert within Cloud App Security. If not, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna compose a message. Within the message, we'll have the alert details. So the severity, what the alert is, and the description of it. We'll also show who the alert is for and the profile details we captured earlier. So their email address, department, job title, and phone. An important indicator here is country. So let's say the alert is triggered for Spain and the user's home base is the United States. This could be a good indicator that that user is compromised. And then lastly, we're gonna post a message within the SOC Teams channel. So let's take a look at what this looks like. We can see that there's a new MCAS alert. We have the, the details that we captured earlier in the flow and that we can see it's for Alex Wilbur, and that no activity was performed in Ireland in the past 119 days. We can also see the profile details below. What we can do next is go to that alert directly within Cloud App Security. So let's go ahead and do that. So within Cloud App Security, we get those same details and a couple of more key pieces of information that we saw earlier in the slide. We can also see that this alert was resolved due to the flow that we just created. So the next time you have an employee traveling outside of work or maybe going on vacation, it could be a good idea to include this flow as part of your policies. Thanks so much and see you next time.